Today, we're covering a critical topic, chronic graft versus host disease, or chronic GVHD. It's a condition that occurs when donor immune cells attack the recipient's body after a stem cell or bone marrow transplant. Chronic GVHD can affect multiple organs and systems, so recognizing its presentation is essential for effective management. To make it easier to remember, I'll share a simple mnemonic, initial three letters of chronic and GVHD. Let's break it down. The letters C and H stands for cholestatic liver disease, which refers to liver dysfunction marked by impaired bile flow. The letter R represents respiratory involvement, specifically bronchiolitis obliterans, which leads to airway obstruction. The letter G is for gastrointestinal smell involvement. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Next, the letter V stands for vaginal dryness and stenosis, a common presentation in women with chronic GVHD. The letter H reminds us of hyper and hypopigmentation and skin hardening sclerosis, which are characteristic skin changes. The letter D highlights dryness of mucosa, which includes dryness of the eyes, mouth, and vaginal mucosa. Remember, chronic GVHD is an immune response that can impact multiple organs, requiring early recognition and management to prevent complications. That's it for chronic GVHD. Keep the mnemonic CHR GVHD in mind to quickly recall its clinical features. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more quick medical mnemonics. See you next time.